Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now about a year ago we took a look at AMD's very first 6 core CPU and concluded that when it came to running a few modern games and titles it did okay but was certainly starting to show its age. At the time I also mentioned Intel's first attempt at a 6 core 12 threaded CPU, the i7-980X which admittedly cost a few hundred dollars more at launch, retailing for about 1000 US dollars. And with the news that one of my friends upgraded from an old Xeon to this particular chip and overclocked it all the way to 4.3 gigahertz, it got me wondering as to whether this was a good idea. Is the i7-980X still capable in 2018 and is it worth buying one considering all of the other more modern options that are available for pretty decent prices on the used market too? I took the hard drive and GPU out of my system, popped around my friends to conduct a few tests for myself and what follows are those results. Now, in all the games I tested, the processor proved a pretty good pairing for my GTX 1070. It didn't hold us back and you can still expect to be able to hit over 60 frames per second, no problem in most situations. Because it's got 6 cores and 12 threads, I just had to include comparative results to my Ryzen 5 1600, a modern 6 core CPU which also has 12 threads. Surprisingly, results weren't too dissimilar and it's amazing to think that those of you out there who bought this thing 8 years ago are still having a great gaming experience. This chip certainly holds its own. Some CPU bound games will perform noticeably worse though because this thing's single core performance is where it shows its age. There's also the fact that it's a lot thirstier than modern alternatives, not to mention some of the costs in certain countries to build a system based around this thing. That though we'll get to a little later on. Actually, no, we'll get to it now. With a used price of around 200 US dollars, it's an expensive outlay unless you are already running on the 1366 socket platform and can only afford to upgrade your processor as opposed to buying a new motherboard as well. In that case, it might be worth it, but anyone out there looking to build a gaming PC from scratch should probably avoid the 980X. When you consider the cost of some or most X58 boards too, the price will really start to add up. At least DDR3 memory is cheap these days though. And there's always those unbranded Chinese motherboards if you're feeling daring. I'll actually be testing one of these soon, so I'm not going to pass comment until I've tried it. With all that said, don't forget about Xeons. This is where the best value for money lies if you're shopping around for older 1366 based hardware, and considering they cost a fraction of their i-series counterparts, it may be worth looking at these if you've already won yourself a cheap X58 board in an online auction, or are the owner of one already and are looking for a CPU to put in it. Tech Yes City has some great Xeon based videos that truly show off the power of some of these aging chips in modern situations. As for the i7, its legendary performance will always be remembered and its high end price tag will hopefully continue to decrease. It would certainly be interesting to see how this thing does in another 8 years, but for now, if by a miracle you found one cheap, and just so happen to have a compatible board to go with it, then it will still provide you with a decent experience, especially after overclocking. And with that, there we have it. I hope you've enjoyed this look back at Intel's once $1,000 i7-980X, a chip that probably doesn't make too much sense to buy these days. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like on it, leave a dislike if you didn't. Let me know if you have this CPU in your system down below in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video.